Okay, I am Kayla the Designer, Kayla the Designer .com. This is another tutorial, Joomla 1.5, how to add, you know, uh, photos and different files to your article, how to upload um, images to your Joomla website. So let me check, show you how to do it real quick, get right into it. Uh, go to your website, slash administrator. Type in your info. Log in real quick. I should already know this part. And you go into right here under site. You go to media manager. And then you'll see all your media. You'll see a whole bunch of sample images, a lot of different icons that come with Joomla already. As soon as you install it, it automatically puts it in there. You, in there. you can delete it if you want. I don't usually delete it because I don't want to mess nothing up. You know, some of this stuff you actually see on the front of your website. Um, as you might not notice some of the errors or some stuff in the administrators. So I just delete them alone. You can delete them if you want. If they bother you, it don't bother me, so I leave them there. Anyway, all your real images, your real stuff that you're going to use is going to be under stories. So you need to click on stories. And then all your images are right here. You can create a new folder if you want. Um, right here, you can just type in whatever you want to type. Example, you hit create folder. It's created. Um, and then, so you got that. Um, that's how you can organize stuff. You can have different photos for different things. And um, so I have a few images in here. I don't have a lot. Um, you can go ahead and you can uh, hit browse to uh, find you a new image. And I'm just going to find some real quick. Just a random image. Just use this cool image. This is a cool image. This image is by R. Campbell, uh, one of my photographers. He's a beast. He likes to get into a little Photoshop, you know what I'm saying? As soon as it finishes loading. And there it goes. And you can see the new images right there. If you see all the little red X's, if you click on that, that deletes it automatically. I don't even think it gives you a warning. Um, so be careful. You can hit the little box, make a little check mark. You can delete a whole bunch at the same time. You just go up here, hit delete. Pretty simple. Uh, let's click on my image and see what it looks like full size. So whenever you click on the image, it pops up pretty much full size. Usually, you know, not full size, I guess. I mean, it, it pops up at the point. Um, anyway, this is a pretty cool image. That the guy right there in the mask is actually me. <laughs> that was a pretty fun photo shoot. But um, yeah, so we're gonna add this to an article. Let me show you how to do that. You go up to the top, go to Content Article Manager. If you have June 1.5, if you have 1.6, it's a little different. <laughs> but I mean, it's pretty much the same. So you can keep up with it. Go to New. Go down here, uh, your image button is right here. There's actually two image buttons. There's an image button at the bottom, and then there's another image button right here. There's a little tree symbol. So I usually use this one because I like it better. They actually give you a, a couple of different options. Um, so let's find my image under. See, and another thing, if you notice, it automatically opens the stories directory. You can't even like go to any other one. If you hit up or if you hit any of these, it just shows you all your folders. You can't really go to any other any other ones. So let's find our image. I think it's the last one. There he goes. Skull. You can actually upload images directly to here also while you're in the article manager. So you don't have to go to media manager to upload different images and things like that. You don't have to. You could do it here too. I just like to do it in there. Um just because you can align things left to the right. It just pretty much means it'll be to the left of the page or to the right of the page. Pretty simple. You can add a title to it. You can add a caption if you want. An image description, all those things, you know, experiment with it, you know, you kind of learn as you go. So I hit click on it, hit insert, and you can see it's there and it's freaking huge. And we don't want it to be that big. That's HD right there. I think he actually made this like, wow, look at that, 3,000 pixels. That's a lot. <laughs> I probably should have chosen a different picture. Let's just resize this as much as possible. I never recommend you resize anything without scaling it to fit all right so, well not to fit but just scaling it anyway here we got the image i'll make it a little bit smaller um just because you uh, know you can do a lot of things with this image you can click on it you can hit add a hyperlink on this hyperlink button add your, your url you can oh wait a second it went away i don't want it to go away um you can hit your target make sure it opens in the same window if you're staying on your site wherever it goes for your title add a title it kind of pops up when you hover over it. Um, I add my section right now. I'm doing own category. I name it Google. I don't know why I'm thinking of Google, but I type Google. It's not do Google. It's do skull. Okay. Anyways, um, so that's our article. It's done. Our image is there. We can type if we want. 
um, blah 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 and that's a wrap and all you gotta do is publish that put it on your website and that's a wrap that's good um that's pretty much it and I'm gonna show you one more thing I'm gonna cancel this because I don't want to save it you go over to extensions go to module manager and you can do the exact same thing with your modules if you want to create a new module you go to new and then you go to custom HTML make sure it's custom HTML because it will only work with custom HTML then you go down do the exact same thing hit image you find your skull or whatever your image you hit insert it's there and it's huge again so I'm going to delete it because I don't want to take forever trying to resize that again so I'm going to use a smaller image of this guy running in the beach very romantic don't you love it? I do. Okay. Anyway, um, with modules, you have a lot more options with different things. Um, it, here's your menu assignment. It's just telling you, okay, which you know menu options. Like, do you want it on the home page? Do you want it on your news page? Which pages do you want it on? These are all that. Um, hit the title. I don't want to show my title. Position. Position. It depends on your template. You know, it'll be different. I'm putting mine on sidebar A because I'm using the Rocket Themes template. Um, they have really good templates. So. That's about it. You hit save. Oh wait, I got to name it. Example. Hit save. And if I go to my website, <coughs> you will see it's on the side. And of course, it looks terrible because it's on the on the side module, and it's a completely wrong size. So I'll just you know fix it just because to make it look better because it's really bothering me. Example, I don't want to take too much time on it. I'm just going to resize like that much just so you can see. You refresh, hit F5 on uh, PC. Don't know about Mac. See, now it's way too small, but you know, whatever. Um, so we got the image there, and that's how you upload your images. And you can pretty much do that with any article, any module. So um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I am Caleb the Designer, CalebTheDesigner.com, June 1.5. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a lot.